Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Austin back again with another simple tutorial on web development. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple responsive animated web page. It's going to be very very simple. You may not see it as some serious project but still you can apply it on some small little web pages you'll be having on your website. So this is how it acts or reacts or functions. When the person hovers over this small box you're seeing here, having the text of hover over me, like this, you see it gets that animation with some nice cool transition. As you can see, it just expands on the width and height. That's what I'm going to be showing you in this simple tutorial using only HTML and CSS. Behind the since i went and removed everything so i'm going to refresh this page and we'll be left with nothing just our web page so this is the web page nothing is inside it and you can call it anything you want i assume you already know this syntax how you can create the html layout that's what we are having right now what we are going to do is create a div here let me tap this and give it the ID, you can call it anything, box, image, anything you want. So I'm going to call mine IMG, so long as you refer to it when you're writing your CSS. And below it, we are going to create some fake paragraphs. And to get some fake text, I'm having an extension called or plugin called Rollem. I just write, oh, sorry, it's called Emit. Just write Rollem 100 tab and they give you the 100 words you wanted. I'm going to copy this. You can use any text you want, just that I want to get some fake paragraphs on the web page. I want to include four, those are three paragraphs. So let's save and preview it in the browser. Basically, this is what we are having our four paragraphs. That's all we need for HTML. And this is the important part we have to concentrate on. We are going to use the internal style sheet. We are going to write style. And inside style, that's where we are going to put our code. Basically, I always see people complaining about this type. That it's no longer needed. Nothing will happen to your code even if you use it. Even if you leave it there or remove it, everything will still run the same way. So what we want to do is target this ID of IMG. We shall use the number sign or pound symbol or hash symbol. So we say IMG, open curly brackets, and we are going to give this the background image, background image, and we specify the uniform resource locator URL where the image is found. It's in the same directory with this. So we say water. It's called water, the GPG. So let me show you the file. It's on, oh, sorry. So this is the file. This is the image we are targeting, and this is the web page we are in. So they're in the same directory. And if you refresh the page, you will see nothing at this time. Because for anything to appear, it has to be with a shape. Anything that has no shape and height, it's nothing. So we are going to give it some width of 200 pixels and the height of 200 pixels. So it's going to be the same. Height of 200 pixels. When we refresh the page, you see some small box there. Very good. Now what we are going to do is float it to the left so that these ticks come and fill up this blank space you're seeing. Then we say float say left save that you see it's floated to the left just that now there is no space between these words and the image what we are going to do is give it some margin right margin dash right it's going to be 11 pixels refresh that's good and you can go ahead and also put margin bottom if you want to 
also leave some margin there. You may not see it, but yeah, it left some. So now let's do when they hover over this image, we want it to expand. And to do that, we are going to create this div. We are going to say target this div of img. You say on hover, open our curry brackets. What we want to do is when the person hovers over it, we increase on the width. So we are going to say width, which, as you can see here, it was 200. Now here we are going to increase it to 500 pixels, and the height is going to become 400 pixels. And we are going to use the same image background image so background image we specify the uniform resource locator which is water dot jpg let me first see this you can see now we are having that transition from 200 to 500 of width and 400 of height very very simple now i want it to be seen what we are going to do is come and give it some background size. Background size of cover. So that they display the full image. Refresh. Nice. You're seeing everything is okay, but now you see just snaps to those heights and width. What we are going to do is add some transition to this image. Now we are going to say transition. transition and we are going to target the property which is width we want to target this width and it's going to run for one second time function is going to be is and the duration is going to be zero seconds so it should not delay refresh and when you see you see the width gets some transition apart from the height you just see the height snaps and we only get for the width now we want also for the height we are not going to try the same transition. What we are going to do is put some comma. And we also target the property of height. Duration is going to be one second. Time function is going to also be is. And the delay zero. Zero seconds. So it will just run. Look at that. Very nice. Now in the beginning we saw some text on top. Can just go inside this and create another div. We just put some h5 and I say over over me. Refresh that page. You can see some text there. Now, what I did, I sent a bit using some inline styling of style and I target the text arrangement or align to center save that so it will be centered and see very very simple now I'm going to add some framework called materialize just to give this page some fixed width materialize CSS dot com just want only uh, I want this to be having some fixed width around it. You can the tutorial is done, we just want to now make it look nice. Click on get started. And if you want some tutorials about this framework, I already have some. You can check out on my channel. So I'm just going to include this CSS link. Come this, include it in the head section. There. So we are going to wrap everything in a div, having a class of container. Div with a class of container run to the bottom 
and cross that div save as you can see we're having some quick with it this side and this side so basically that's it if this tutorial was useful to you go ahead and subscribe like the video share it on different social medias and i will see you in the next tutorials we only had to write this subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next tutorials Austin code cipher